Well, I have put on my red and white R letter jacket to take us on a Riverdale road trip. The exterior of Riverdale High is Lord Bing High School, opened in 1925. But the inside is Point Grey Senior Secondary, where they film uh, the interior hallways and where they eat outside. And John Oliver's where they shoot the cafeteria and the gym. Where they have those sweet cheerleader showdowns, Veronica versus Cheryl. <laughs> Running man. Are they into it? Are they into it? This, those moves are way too sexy for a high school. Calm down, Riverdale, calm down. This is Archie Andrews' house, which is appropriately in comic book colors. I wonder which side of the house has the window that Archie peeps into Betty's place. Archie Andrews, creeper extraordinaire. Welcome to the Cooper residence on Queens Avenue and New Westminster. Finally, what's wrong? What's wrong? That's not Archie's house, and that's not Archie's house. In the show, they're neighbors, but in real life, they're actually 20 kilometers apart. This is the permanent building. It is Veronica's bougie home. It is the Pembroke in Riverdale. Built in the early 1900s, it is a city of Vancouver heritage building. It was once the Bank of Canada. The original vault door is still inside. In the middle of nowhere is where the Blossoms live. There's bees everywhere. I don't want to get arrested for trespassing. I'm just, I'm afraid of the guard dog or like security cams. And they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, calm down, you're not really the Blossoms. That's too much, we should just leave. Gabby's Country Cabaret, a honky-tonk country bar. It's been around for 30 years. It's Langley's oldest entertainment venue. It's also Riverdale's White Worm, home to the Southside Serpents. Wednesday night, it's karaoke night. I'm pretty sure the Southside Serpents are not gonna be singing there. Though maybe it could give Josie and the Pussycats a run for their money. Fort Langley's what I imagined Riverdale would actually look like. The Fort Gallery was the Riverdale Register. Betty Cooper's mom better not break the window again. I want my daughter back, you bastard! The post office. Built in 1935 for a cost of $13,000, it doubles in the show as the sheriff's office. Looks a lot spookier at night, doesn't it? Built in 2005, the Twilight Drive-In is the only drive-in in Metro Vancouver. It has a 436 car capacity and at 40 feet by 94 feet, it is the equivalent of a 1224 inch television screen. Which is really too big for anybody. Like, who needs that? Success. Rocco's Diner served as Pop's Chocolate Shop in the pilot, but they built their own version on a studio stage for the rest of the series. Open 24 hours, Jughead often hangs out here, but we never see him eating a burger. Come damn it, Jughead, eat a burger. We didn't go to the river where like Jason Blossom died. That was way too far away. Yeah, Alouette Lake is in like Golden Ear Provincial Park. Oh. Have you been there? That's a life commitment to go there. Well, that's it for our Riverdale road trip. If you've been to any of these places or you've seen Archie and the gang anywhere else, let us know in the comments below.